After a brief delay, House Republicans have introduced their highly anticipated tax reform plan. Good evening, I'm Mary Alice Demler. And hello again everyone, I'm Scott Levin. Republicans are calling it transformational for middle class workers. Leaders say the bill would benefit approximately half of the Americans who live paycheck to paycheck by doubling the standard deductions for both individuals and for married couples. It would also simplify the tax code, cut the corporate tax rate down to 20% and eliminate the estate tax after six years. Tonight, Two On Your Side's Dave McKinley is digging deeper into how this bill could impact New Yorkers. Dave. Mary Alice says this makes its way through Congress. The Trump tax plan has become an evolving one, and there's news of a development regarding a major bone of contention for New Yorkers, the deduction for property taxes, as well as your state income tax or sales tax, if you choose. It caused a big hue and cry when the original plan called for eliminating those deductions, but under a compromise, while you would still not be able to deduct state income or sales taxes, you would be able to deduct up to $10,000 in your property taxes. I'm glad to see that they're thinking of the high tax state people, at least a little. The question is, is it enough? For Western New Yorkers, this might be helpful. For our downstate neighbors, where the average property taxes hover around $15,000 a year, maybe not so much. It's true, though, that if the taxes in New York weren't so high compared to other states to begin with, it wouldn't be such a big deal. And I think that's all they're selling it nationally, is that they're saying that why should people in states that are more financially responsible. Why should people in those states finance states like New York, New Jersey, California, uh, which have very high income taxes by offering them a deduction for their state taxes? Supporters of the new tax plan are quick to note it doubles the standard deduction, meaning that many would no longer even itemize their local taxes anyway. But even here, Gullius worries about other elements of the plan which she figures could hurt more working class families than help. They're talking about doubling the standard deduction, but they're eliminating the personal exemption. So if you're a family of four, they're taking away almost $17,000, and they're giving you an extra twelve. So you're actually $5,000 upside down in taxable income. So it's a balancing act. People with children are going to find out that this is no big windfall for them. But Congressman Chris Collins, a supporter of the plan and who I just got off the phone with, disputes that last point, insisting savings would come from new child tax credits. If a plan is approved within the next eight weeks, Collins says it would go into effect on January 1st, meaning its impact, good or bad, would be felt when you file your taxes in 2019. Dave McKinley, Channel 2 News.